Reading enter the weekend firmly entrenched in mid-table to the extent that a win on Saturday, or even in their game in hand, could see them move 11 points clear of the relegation, but still be 12 points shy of the playoff places. In terms of league form, Brian McDermott's men are winless in three, and that after vital February wins against both Rotherham and Charlton, just four days apart, which arrested a six-match slump and had the team moving in the wrong direction. McDermott's return for a second spell at the helm of the Berkshire club arrived off the back of Steve Clark's strange and sudden departure back in early December. A poor runner form, plus a dalliance with the attentions of managerless Fulham, seemed to put pay to Clark's tenure after just 12 months in charge. Yet, the Royals were just one point off a playoff spot at the time of separation. The sale of top scorer Nick Blackman to Derby didn't help matters. He'd set the score in pace in the championship during the opening months of the season, with 11 in his first 15 games and 13 in all prior to his departure in January. 13 appearances later, he's yet to net since joining the faltering Rams. In fact, the club's top two league scorers of the season are no longer in situ. Orlando Sarr's five goals left the club in January also. He's joined Israeli outfit Maccabi Tel Aviv leaving US midfielder Danny Williams as the current clubhouse leader on five. Mate Vidra did net six times during the cup run though, a figure that has the Czech striker still positioned as that competition's current top scorer. Therefore, it's not difficult to identify a scoring deficiency. The Royals, especially at home, have struggled for consistency in front of goal, netting just north of one per game, and all in all scoring more than once on just 10 occasions all season in the league. This is something they've achieved just once in the league, actually, since early November, last month's 4-3 win over Charlton, and explains the slide down the division. It's easy to forget that in mid-October, Reading sat as high as third in the table and just four points off top. Welshman Hal robson Carnu ranks among the top 15 in the division, with six assists for the season. That's a 100% markup on the three goals he's netted, whilst Lucas Piazon and Ola John have provided a regular threat from the wide areas. Head-to-head, -head, things couldn't be much tighter historically. City edged the overall league meetings by 19 wins to 18, and another in the win column could seriously help the playoff cause. City have dropped just one of their last six against the Royals, and haven't lost a regular season home match against Reading in six either. However, we have lost in both the FA Cup and the playoffs in that time. We've also scored at least two in the last four home league games against Saturday's hosts, Kenwin Jones and Matthew Connolly were the goals earlier in the season, and an own goal and a Peter Whittingham penalty last year. Whittingham was also on target for our last win at Reading, a special strike in a 2-1 win back in November 2011.